Deputy Prime Minister Milenka Opacic unveiled today a plan to outsource government jobs. If implemented, 26,500 public sector employees would be moved to the private sector. Opacic said that it was clear that the current situation was unsustainable and that the system in its current form was too big of a burden for the budget to bear. We must begin to act rationally, she said. Two of Croatia's major highway operators have adjusted their tolls. Highways managed by the Croatian motorways and the Rijeka Zagreb motorway are cheaper along some sections as of today. The toll from Zagreb to Dubokolje, the exit used for split, for example, costs about one euro less than before. However, the tolls for some sections are slightly higher, while others have remained the same. The prices were adjusted after review of the last price hike in tolls two years ago found several errors in the calculation method that was used to formulate the new prices. Croatia has lost more than 100,000 jobs over the last few years. The amount of money lost is equal to nearly one state budget, said Deputy Finance Minister Boris Lalovac in an interview aired on Croatian radio this morning. Lalovac said the government did plan to tax interest on savings, a measure which the Prime Minister said last week was an option but may not be implemented. Lalovac added that the government was in a difficult position because any new measures are bound to anger some citizens. The economic crisis has gone on too long and people are frustrated and depressed, both consumers and entrepreneurs, he said. Employers Association General Director Boris Majetic defended the position of employers, saying that any attempt at implementing new policies was being met with resistance and ultimately has ended up being blocked. Israelis stopped in their tracks to remember six million Jews who perished in the Nazi Holocaust during World War II as the Jewish state marked Holocaust Remembrance Day today. The Remembrance Day was also marked in Croatia. Wreaths and candles were laid beneath Jewish sculptor Oskar Nemon's mother and child monument in Osijek. The head of the Jewish Community Center in Osijek, Dragutin Kon, called for an end to war, saying that the destruction of all nations and races must end. Osijek Mayor Ivan Vrkic said that the suffering brought on by the Holocaust had been so great that it must never be allowed to happen again. In sports, Tivona have won the ABA Regional League title after defeating Cedevita 72-59 in an all-Croatian final played in Belgrade last night. This was Tivona's fourth final and a well-deserved victory. Dario Šarić led Tivona with 23 points, 11 rebounds, 7 assists and 5 blocks. Šarić's stellar performance on Sunday earned him the title of the Final Four's MVP. Tomislav Zubčić led Cedevita with 13 points. This is the second league title to go to a Croatian team. Zadar captured the final back in 2003. The final also means that Sibona and Cedevita will play in the EuroLeague next season. This afternoon's forecast calls for variable clouds with scattered showers and a chance of thunder in places. There may also be a few sunny spells here and there. On the coast, expect a mild to moderate southeasterly. Highs for the afternoon will range from 17 to 20 degrees Celsius.